All right, so we're gonna try and split the case tonight. This thing's glued together with a, a unique sealer I haven't seen before. It's not quite an epoxy and it's not quite a uh, silicone. So anyways, I've already got lump nuts loosened. I'm really hoping that the cam bearing stays where it kind of is in the case because that's what we're worried about. It's on this side. So anyways, I'm gonna go through Take these off. I already loosened the nuts. Already broke the washers free because they were stuck on pretty good. Not drop anything in there. While we do this, I'm going to have the lifters clipped up. Hopefully they'll stay. Out, boys and girls are going for a ride. As you can see, that is not where the cam bearing is supposed to go. For some reason, it was never installed or put in the right spot. It's sticking out. What I'm more concerned of is where did that chunk of aluminum come from that he found in the sump and what went through the oil pump. The case has got some wear on the bearing. Not insane, but it is wore for what it is. know what happened there I can see some wear here like something was moving around you can see some pitting there it's like the cam was riding on that a little bit looks like we had some shuffling going on here you can see the color difference right there to right here this is moving around on it center mains do that with a lot of abuse or when everything fits right you can see here this is their sealant right there it's because that's lower so that didn't fill in it's just some of the cases are like that I guess All right, I still don't see where the chunk of aluminum actually came from. There is a little nick by the oil pump there, but it wasn't leaking oil per oil out the pump. I don't know, we're going to take a little better look and see what we find here. Let's look at the other half again. I don't want to make this too long. I don't know how long the uh, camera will do on my camera. Alright. 
aftermarket replacement rods. Some wear on the cam here. It looks a little fun. It doesn't show up in the camera, but there's a difference in color from that side to there. The bearing did not spin. And is the bearing blocking the passageway? You know, that's a problem. So the patches way for the rear cam bearing is filled with some sealant. The bearing is the correct size. And the sealant is all around the cam plug in there. Let's see if we can get you some light. And that's blocking some of the passageway. Of course the lifters look pretty beat up. We'll um, take some pictures and look around some more. So you can see that's where the cam bearing right here was in the case. We'll pop this guy up. It does move. It's not frozen on there amazingly. You can see that at some point it has hit the cam or something because it's smashed and mangled right here. So that has come in contact with something. All right, let's remove it. Come on. All right. You can see where that's been mangled on the inside there too. It has been grinding on something. You can see that's where. It was the tang for some reason was out here. I don't know how that would have got there. That should have been over here. No, come on, like so. Should have been straight in the center, and yet it was way over there. Should have a groove almost in it from being pressed against there. There's no pressure, I guess. But you can see that made this bottom bearing they interlock in each other, and that moved over. And up a little bit too, not helping the situation. Is there anything else? It's just sticking out, saying, Look at me. At this point, not so much. We'll keep on looking and seeing what we get. All right, just took the cam out, and this is the bearing on the center mate, center cam bearing there. And this is what. Probably the majority of that bearing material is. A chunk has come out of it. Right there. You can see that. The thrust side also here is all destroyed. Right there right there so this thing had a cam bearings going out it's not hot like it's not i mean it's got oil in there it's not burned up or anything none of the journals on the camshaft so far have any obvious indicators there is some Looks like some bearing material or something that's gone through right there. Camshaft, like I say, the journals don't look all black and blue. I think the material of the bearings just decided it didn't want to play. We'll look at some more, see what we find. So, racking my brain here a little bit, I would think if you had put this in there, right, which that's the one from the opposite side, because this one's all, the one from this side's tore up, but if you put that in there, and they usually stick, that 
you would hear it fall when you're putting it together. These are pretty tangly. And what I'm wondering is this thing doesn't have any crush. It just easily, you know, it has only catching back here, which is kind of amazing because this is where it wore on the cam, but the front has no grip. All right, like it just, it just fell in. And they usually have crush. This doesn't have crush. I almost wonder if this wasn't sticking in there and some enterprising person decided to put it on the cam, line it up with the other bearing and put the case on. And when they went to put the case down, move the crank or something and it slid forward. I'm not exactly sure. I'm wondering, that's that's a huge distance to get this tang outside of it. So that other one was like that. You know? Just food for thought. Because I don't really know what happened. I'm not going to say yay, nay, whatever. You know, because I don't know what happened. But I almost wonder if this didn't stick in there because the bearing cam journal is out of whack. And that needed to be bored. Which nobody really does. I've heard they have a border for it. And they do used to have bearings for it. I don't know if anybody has them now. But this is the bearing for the other side. And it won't stick in there. And if it kept falling out every time they put the case together. And said you know what. We'll lay this on the cam. It's on the other side. Line it up. And it won't give us any trouble. And the crank may have turned. Because that's on a helix, and it will move it. Or something moved it. And they just didn't notice. I don't know.